Hey, Terra Nova. Uh, good to be back with you in these midweek uh, videos, which again, as I've shared a couple times now, are two things. One, it's my heart to uh, encourage you and spur you on to faith and good works in Christ uh, through the midst of our current pandemic. And two, it's really just an overflow. Uh, I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. Uh, it's where I find myself in my mostly everyday Bible reading plan. Uh, and then as I think about it, I try to share some of those thoughts with you in a little bit more devotional manner, uh, again, with a hope to encourage all of us in our faith in Christ, whether that's a brand new faith or a long lived out faith, um, whichever one of those two things it may be. Today, uh, I don't have a necessarily a specific verse for you. Uh, it's more of a thought that comes out of the tone of the book of 2 Corinthians, which I've uh, read uh, from the whole thing uh, in the past week or week and a half, uh, if you would. And First and Second Corinthians is a series of letters from the Apostle Paul to the church in Corinth. Uh, and there was actually three of them. Two of them are, are kept in the Bible for us. Um, but there's this back and forth between Paul and the, and the Corinthians, and there's this tension that seems to stand out to me. Uh, in the book of 2 Corinthians, because the Apostle Paul has some pretty challenging things uh, to say to the people in the church at Corinth, especially in the in the first book, 1 Corinthians. Um, he speaks boldly, and he speaks honest truth. Um, and so there's this tension of that his truth may have upset people, uh, it may have hurt people by its boldness in, in, in his speaking in truth, uh, and so this whole tension that, like, chapter 2, um, I'm not, at the beginning of chapter 2 in 2 Corinthians, uh, Paul says this to the letter, to the people in Corinth, For I wrote to you out of much affliction and anguish of heart and with many tears. So within Paul is affliction and anguish of heart and many tears, not to cause pain, not to cause you pain, but to let you know the abundant love that I have for you. And so there's this tension that's played out through the, through the letters to, the, to Corinth of Paul's love for his brothers and sisters in Corinth is causing him to speak hard truths. And this is something I think we still struggle with in our day, being able to speak truth in love in a way that it is received well that it is spoken graciously, that the one who has a truth to speak, and, and not an opinion of their own, but let's, I think what Paul's getting at is he has these truths, these eternal truths from God that the followers of Christ in Corinth need to hear, and he has this anguish in his heart, this sadness in his many tears, because he knows the difficulty of that truth, how it will hit them, the, the change in their life that it may cause them to undertake. But Paul presses in with boldness, and continues to share these things with the church in Corinth. And that tension is played out through both of the letters. Uh, and it just, for me, in our day and time, where I feel like it's such a difficult thing for us to be able to speak truth in love. Now, for those who have a truth that they want to say, uh, there's several things to keep in mind. Is it an opinion of yours, or is it actually God's truth that needs to be shared? And then if it's the latter, how then can it be shared with, with such grace and humility that the love of our hearts comes through, not just the truth that we may have in our minds? And that's an incredibly difficult thing for us to get that balance right sometimes. But the other thing I want to say, though, is it's not just about the speaker, right? It's incredibly hard for us to speak truth in love. Anybody knows that. We all know that. Whatever our truth may be, how are we, it's just hard to strike that right balance. But it's also incredibly hard to hear love and truth. And so it's not just a call to the, to the one who has the truth. Hey, be, say that in love. It's also a call to the one who has to hear the truth is hear this in love. Because sometimes in our self-protection and our self-defense, we don't want to hear the truth. And so therefore, if, it's, if there's an ounce of unlovingness or an ounce of ungraciousness in it from the other person, we just dismiss the whole thing. But one of the things that stands out to me through the letters to Corinthians is both the call to speak truth and love and the call to hear love and truth. And that's a, that's a responsibility for every single one of us to, to walk that line, both sides of it. 
uh, and knowing the difficulty of it. We all know how difficult it is to speak truth in love. We all know how difficult it is to hear love and truth. I think there's an incredible call in there for us to be incredibly gracious to one another, recognizing that none of us are going to get that perfect at any point. We're not going to speak truth. Love. We're not going to speak truth perfectly in love, and we're not going to be able to hear love perfectly in truth. But that's the call. That's the the mark of a follower of Christ. Being able to to strive for both of those things, to have boldness with their truth, with love, and then to have humility to hear love and truth. May that be something that um, we strive towards as a church family. May that be something that is a hallmark of something that I think I just see, especially on social media, I just see it lacking in so many places. How do we speak truth and love and how do we hear love and truth? That's the call for us as humans, infinite or finite people who don't have all the answers. Can we be gracious with each other who are trying their best to live that out? I think that's so much of the tone in the call that I get from First and Second Corinthians as Paul's having this back and forth dialogue about hard truths that are good for people to hear and are good for people to uh, accept and adapt into their life. May that be true of us. Love you all. Um, Hope to see you soon. If you have any questions on these videos, the teachings, our church, anything, faith in Christ, who Jesus is, anything, uh, love to, to dialogue with you over those questions. Paul at Terranova Church uh, is where you can reach me. Love you all. Hope to see you soon. Be blessed.